The picture-in-picture -picture tool makes it incredibly easy to blur faces using InShot. In this first tutorial, I'm going to use the free version, so of course the first step is to download and install InShot. Notice that I'm using an iPad because it has a bigger screen and it will be easier for you to see. But the process works the same on any iOS device. Once InShot has been downloaded and installed, tap on Video, choose your main clip. Notice this watermark here. This is how you can tell that you're using the free version. If you adjust the frame to 16 by 9, for example, the watermark will disappear. Tap on the check mark. To blur a face properly, you need to use an effect. But there is no way to apply an effect to a clip that you add using the picture in picture tool. So the first thing you must do is add an effect to your main video. Once this is done properly, you can export your main clip and use it inside the picture-in-picture -picture clip in a new project. Tap on Filter, then select Effects. Tap on Style, and then select the effect you want to use. Let me show you what happens when you add the blur effect. You can add the effect to see what it looks like. You can even adjust it and try it out. But when you go to export the video, you'll be required to upgrade to a pro version. If you don't want to do that, just select a different effect like mosaic. If you tap on mosaic, you'll see that you can now export your video. Tap on the check mark. Notice the effect has been applied above the video, but it does not go all the way to the end. Tap on the end of the effects bar and select video end to make sure that the mosaic effect is applied to the entire video. This is necessary as you don't want your face to become visible. Once this is done, Tap on the check mark and export your clip as it is right now. This is the clip you will need to use inside the picture in picture tool. Tap the export icon and tap on save. As usual, don't lock your screen or close in shot because if you do, the export will fail and you'll need to repeat it. Remember that you might see an ad once the video exports. If you do, just close the ad and you can find your exported video without a watermark inside your camera roll. Open a new InShot project and add your main clip one more time. The settings for this new project should be the same as the previous project. The canvas is already formatted to 16 by 9. Tap the picture in picture icon and select your blurred clip. Once it appears, resize the clip so that the mosaic effect covers the entire screen. The next step to blur just the face is to add a mask. Before you do that, make sure that both clips are the same length. They should be because they're the same clip. Next, you need to apply a mask. Tap on mask and choose the mask you want to use. You will see a mask widget. This will allow you to select the area of the video that you want to mask or blur out. The only area where you can see the blur is over the face. This mask does a pretty good job, but it needs to be better because there's some areas of my footage where the face becomes visible. To fix this, scrub back to the beginning of the footage. Notice the little green triangle right at the beginning of the footage. This is called a keyframe. First thing I'm going to do is tap on mask so that I get the mask widget and rotate it like this. I recommend that you make the mask just a little bit bigger than your face. This will account for any movement. In addition, keyframes will be added to the picture in picture clip so that the face remains invisible for the entire video. Tap on the check mark to exit the masking tool and then play the clip until you see an area of your footage where your face becomes visible. If you find such an area, pause the video. Since I added a keyframe at the beginning of the footage, every time I reposition the mask, a new keyframe, the downward facing green triangle, will be added at the location of the playhead. Repeat this step for your entire video 
until you've repositioned your mask and your face is no longer visible. This may take some time to get just right. However, attention to detail is important because the more time you take to do the masking process, the better your final video will look. Continue to make adjustments as needed and tap on the check mark once you're done. Then tap on the share icon to export your final video once more. You can find your exported clip inside your camera roll. The final result looks like this. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. And don't forget to hit that notification bell.